Hey guys, today I thought we'd come back and paint a top water popper. We're going to do this in a frog pattern and we're going to use a wrap in order to get that effect. Stick with me. All right, since we're working with the top water, we have no bill, so we're using the helping hands on this one. We can start out with our base coat, our opaque white from Createx. Now, we're going to put a wrap and I'm going to paint it black. And as I've said before, if you're painting it, you need to put the white on so the colors come through. But if you're painting it black, that's not necessary. But in this situation, I'm not going to paint the belly black, just the top for the wrap. So we will paint it white first. Then we'll have to come back and paint the black before we put the wrap on. So a little bit different setup this time than normal when we're using a black base for a wrap. Just a good all over coating, especially on the bottom. We're going to go with yellow for the belly, and if I didn't put the white down on there first before I did the yellow, that yellow is just not going to look right. I've done blanks before with the white base without and then side by side and you can really see a difference in the colors if you do not put that white base coat down first all right got our white on there that's good enough we we'll clean her up we'll get onto the yellow for the belly next as i said we're going to use yellow on the belly i think we're just going to go with createx transparent bright yellow for the belly here. And again we'll just shoot straight up the belly, up the sides a little ways because we're going to go with black in a minute and that will tend to cover the yellow pretty well. There we go, about halfway up, not quite as much on this side, but a little more so we're at the same on both. There we go, all right, got our yellow on the belly. Let me clean this out a little bit and we'll get ready to put the black on. Now for the back. We're going to go Createx Opaque Black. Just the opaque black in the back and just a good overall coating again. Leave that yellow belly. And there we go. Got our yellow belly. Got the black on the back. All right. Now I'm going to get the heat gun. We're going to do a really good dry on this before we put the wrap on it. All right. We are ready for a wrap. Now I'm going to use, this is the wrap I'm going to use. It's the, I get it from the floral section of Hobby Lobby. And then when you get it, you see it, it's kind of stiff so as I've said before I'll take a piece as you can see one I've used here before and I really like to roll them around and, and scrunch it up a little bit that does tend to soften it up a little that helps a little bit so we don't get any scratches in it all right let's take this out and what I'm gonna do is just lay them right there just lay them on top and as we said earlier I'm not going to paint the belly with the wrap. Alright, we're not going to have anything there for that. Just going to put a deal down there. The only place we're going to see this wrap is on the back. So there we go. That's good enough for that. That will hold that in place. Yeah, let's see, we're just going to grab hold of that. That's good enough. There we go. All right. Now, to get the colors to come out right, we're going to have to paint that black white. So we're going to have to paint that totally white. So we're going to come back, Createx Opaque White. And we'll throw a little that on there now. And we'll paint over the black. Stay away from the white. We don't want to paint the white. Or the, excuse me, stay away from the yellow, I'm sorry. We want the yellow to stay as it is. All right. 
Got all the black covered with the white. Now we're ready to start doing our colors. So, what colors we're going to paint the top? Well, I haven't done anything with the Walmart paints for a while, so we're going to come back. This is the Walmart Apple Barrel brand, 50 cents a bottle. This happens to be the English Ivy Green, which is the color I like when I'm doing my bluegill patterns. Now, I haven't talked about this in a while. The Walmart paints, real cheap, come in a lot of colors, and I do use them. The paint pigments, uh, the flakes are a lot bigger here, so you have some problems. You can have problems with your gun plugging up, this or that. You will have to thin these down. They're way too thick to shoot through your paint guns. So, half thin them down. To be honest with you, I thin mine down with water. Again, it's not necessarily the right way. There's all kinds of thinners you can buy. Uh, I've used water and I can't say I've had a problem with it. So, got a little bit here mixed up in the cup. And that's what we're going to use. And we're going to go right down the back. Now, I'm not going to get too concerned about the front up here in the head. So I'm going to go with a different color for that. So, right here, I'm just going to shoot in the back. And there we go. That's all I care about. Real quick, real easy. Now, I'm going to come back and do something a little bit different in the head. Let me wash this out. All right, I debated here for a few minutes what to do, different sounds. If you hear a little rumble in the background, I'm in the middle of thunderstorms here, which is probably why I'm painting instead of fishing, right? All right, Createx, pearlized lime. Going to go with a pearl lime head. And I don't want to get it too far back, but I will let, go ahead and let it blend back into that other green. Again, I don't want to get down into my yellow. I want that to be totally different. There we go. All right, now, I'm going to dry this really good with a heat gun. Then we want to shoot a little something up inside the mouth there. So let me dry this real good, and then we'll move on. Okay, we got it all dry. Let's see about taking off the wrap here. And see where we stand. Let me get this down a little bit. I want to get a hold of the nose of it again. There we go. There we go. All right. Now, we've discussed before, and I know you guys mentioned I've had a little trouble with this. Sometimes it'll scratch it up. We're okay here, but I got some scratches on the yellow belly down there. So, what we're going to do. We're going to fix that. Show you how I fix it. All right, so we got some scratches on the belly. So how are we going to fix that? If I put yellow paint over it, they're still going to show up. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some Createx white. Back we started. I'm being very careful here, just right up the belly itself. Don't get up that side anywhere. All right, you can see there I've got them all taken care of. Still got the side, I haven't got up into there. Now, let me get a little yellow paint. Now, we'll come right back with that transparent yellow right over the top. And just don't get up on the side, stay away from the side. You want belly only. And there we go. All right, so I got my side, everything's good on top. I didn't mess anything up there. And as you can see, Hopefully you'll be able to see it. The belly is back yellow, no markings on it, and we pretty effectively covered up the scratches that came. All right, we have one, we have one last step. Createx transparent bright red. We're going to shoot that right down inside the mouth. Let's not get carried away and get it on the lure though. Matter of fact, let me cut back the. I'm going to cut the uh, pressure way back. Usually running about, usually run about 40 pounds of pressure. I'm going to get this down to about 15. There we go. Now I'm running about 15 pounds of pressure. And there we go. That's just enough so I can get up inside that mouth without having to worry too much about the spray getting anywhere else. All right. Now we got it. Now we're set. Set of eyes, top coat. I like that head. That's looking kind of cool. Be interesting to see what this does when we get it all done. 
Well, there we go, guys. There is my frog pattern popper. Got to get out, try a little topwater fishing before winter hits. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.